Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make almond milk yogurt. The base of the yogurt consists of almond milk made from blanched almonds. To blanch almonds, you can either soak them in cold water for 8 to 12 hours, which is the method I prefer, or boil the almonds for about 30 seconds or so. The almonds will soften and the skin will just slip off. You can use soaked unblanched almonds to make almond milk yogurt, but there are several reasons why I use blanched almonds. I write about it on my blog, if you're interested in learning more, the link will be in the description box below. Add the blanched almonds into a high speed blender together with water and blend until completely smooth. Almonds are high in fiber, so even with the high-speed blender, the almond milk will not be smooth. It will be pulpy and fibrous, so the milk does need to be strained using a nut milk bag or a few layers of cheesecloth. The next step is mixing agar powder with the almond milk. Agar powder is very similar to gelatin. It is a gelatinous thickener, but it is derived from algae. The easiest way to mix in the agar is to dissolve it in just a tiny bit of milk first and then add the rest of the milk. Heat the almond milk over medium heat until it reaches a gentle boil, whisking the almond milk constantly. This will not only activate the agar, but it will also sterilize the milk and kill any bad bacteria. Transfer the milk into a clean, ideally sterilized glass bowl and let it cool to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. This is important because if the almond milk is too hot, it will kill the cultures. To culture the almond milk, you can either use a yogurt starter or probiotics. The advantage of using a yogurt starter as opposed to the probiotics is that it contains cultures specifically found in yogurt. If you go with probiotics, make sure they contain the right bacterial strains. The most important ones are Lactobacillus bulgaricus and Streptococcus thermophilus. If the probiotics also contain Lactobacillus acidophilus and Bifidobacterium lactis, even better. 
Now, whenever you're working with life cultures, avoid metal bowls and utensils, because metal contains ions that can destroy living cells, including good bacteria. Once the bacteria have repopulated, it is fine to use metal spoon, but in the initial stages of culturing, it is best to avoid it. Let the almond milk culture anywhere from 6 to 12 hours, depending on the strength of the probiotics and the temperature at which the yogurt is culturing. I am using probiotics with 50 billion active cultures, including the most important strains. I will leave a link to the probiotics I am using on my blog in the recipe box. And I am letting the yogurt culture at 77 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 hours. And that's it, homemade almond milk yogurt.